let's talk about file loops now. Uh, using an interactive loop to average a large set of values could be very challenging. So the question here is, what happens if you make a mistake or a typo on number 43 out of 50 values that you need to enter? So the answer is basically you need to repeat the whole thing because there's no way to fix that. However, we can suggest a better solution uh, for large data sets, and that is to read data from a file. Uh, if there is one typo in the file, you just have to go open the file and fix it from that. So let's see a pseudo code version of how we can read from file. So remember how we read from file that we discussed in chapter five. So we can open a file as in file. So file name is the actual file name that exists in the computer. And then in file is just a Python variable that references to that exact file that we specified with the file name. So once we have that, we can read the line, each line basically from uh, from in file dot read the line command or function. Then we can say while line is not equal to empty string, process the line as we see previously, and then read the next line and then continue until we reach the end of the line. So let's see how we can apply this to our average program so uh, we could use read line in a loop to get the next line of the file and at the end of the file read line returns an empty string so knowing that uh, we can uh, read the file to in file as a reference to file and then we can set sum to count to zero we can then read the first line and then while line is not empty add line to total add one to count and then read the next line and then we're done i'll put the average as total divided by count so let's see in this in the editor so let's work on an uh, another version of the average program where we're going to read the scores from a file so I already have a starter code here, which is a skeleton. We just have to write the rest of the code where we can access a file, read the scores line by line, and accumulate the total. So before we, we write the code, we actually need a file. So I'm going to use the max text edit. And if you're a Windows user, you can use the notepad. So however, in, in Mac, your text edit might, may look a little bit different it might actually be a rich text editor so what you have to do is you have to open the preferences from text edit and then to make sure that you choose plain text instead of uh, rich text also you might also unmark this one so once you change the references make sure to close and then open another one so the changes should apply so what should we do we should um, enter some test scores one per line so don't forget that okay so we have a set of uh, test scores and then I'm going to save this first where I save will be very important I need to make sure that I save in the same directory as my average 5.py is which in my case is the lecture 8 folder so I need to save this as scores txt you can name anything you want as long as it's my preference is one word it ends that one set of that txt extension so and this is my file now i'm gonna move it down here for reference i'm not going to close it absolutely so first thing i want to do is i want to uh say in file is open and now i need an actual file name which will be scores dot txt and r uh, refers to opening the file to read and we have no intention to write the file so first thing i want to do is i want to say line is equal to in file dot read line okay so calling this function will read the first line and then subsequent calls 
to read line will read the, the following lines until we reach the end of the file. So uh, I'm going to create a while loop where line is not equal to empty string, which again is the indication of the end of the file. So next is I need to add each value, each line to the total. So I'm going to say total plus equal to line, whatever the line value is. However, just uh, don't forget that line values are strings. So you'll read them as string values. We need to cast them into integer. Okay. If you prefer to use float, it's also acceptable and a good way of writing the program. Next is I need to accumulate my count. Okay. So, and then I read the first line already. Then I add it to total. Now I need to, before I move on, I need to read the next line. So my line will be basically the same code that I have here. All right. So this will keep reading the file until we reach the end. When we're done, we can get the average and then print the average. So let's run. Okay, so I'm going to make a call to main. And small problem, uh, what does it say? Object no attribute read line. So in file dot read line. In file read line. Okay, what might be the problem? Read line. I think L is lowercase, yes. Yeah, that's why. So we should be good to go. Let's run the program again. And main. Okay, so every 70. So what we can do is to just add more values. Let's say to bring down the average a little bit more, I can add 40 and 30. Then I can save this. Don't forget to save the changes and run again. Run one more time so you can see main the average is now 60. Okay, so that's how we can read from a file. So another version of this could be using the for loop. So I'm, I'm, I can try to rewrite this as average 6. Let me save this as average 6. Uh, because Python has the for loop that makes the file reading a lot easier than this. So I can delete this. Then I can say uh, for line in in file. That's it. So that's the only change we can do. And we, could, we also don't need to read again. So in most cases, for loop is a lot shorter than the, uh, the while loop. Okay, so let's run this again. And program just should work the, the same as before. So average is 60. Okay, so let's move on.